Right, as per James Walker's request, I have put together a very rough approximation of a like manhole cover being blown into space in Kerbal. Now, I'm waiting until as close to noon as I can manage before launching. I'm using a few cheats to get the um, and some exploits of the physics engine to get something like the right sort of speed. Now, I've looked it up. Uh, the claim is that the manhole cover was blown into space at about six times escape velocity. In Kerbal, escape velocity is uh, getting around about 2,000 meters per second, so I'm just going to launch until we get up. Wait until about as close to midday as I can manage, and I'm using the uh, shadows on the flagpole um, to get there. I'll just bump it up a little bit. There we go. And when the flag, shadow on the flagpole gets to fairly close to noon, I will hit launch. Okay, go back down to normal speed, set the throttle to max, and time warp just a little bit more. Come on. Okay, this is as close to noon as I can manage. This, right, so I'm just going to hit launch and hope for the best. Uh, throttle to full. Go. <laughs> Turn the sound spacecraft sound right down so we can actually hear commentary. Alright, back to where we're launching. Okay, th this thing is not like ideally balanced, there's a bit of spin happening. Um, those are monopropellant engines that have effectively no mass in the physics engine and I've turned on the infinite uh, cheap fuel so it's not exactly a manhole cover being blasted into space but it's damn close and as you see you know the sun's up there um, I've also turned off the overheat so it shouldn't explode in the atmosphere yeah, a bit of spinning happening <laughs> a lot of spinning <laughs> wow would not want to be on board that uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to let this get up to 1,200 meters per second, sorry, 12,000 meters per second, and because um, that's my very rough estimation of six times the escape velocity. And here it is, counting up. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Even with fairly ridiculous accelerations, it takes a while to get up to this sort of speed. So, I'm with the guy who reckons that the manhole cover just, like, vaporised, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, coming up to... Oh, look, we have hit us. We've changed modes, and we're now truly in space. Right, I'll just kill that. Yeah, we're kind of shifting, and we're heading pretty much for the sun. Alright, so I'll bring up the map. Now, uh, the that blue line there shows the orbit, uh, and that is where it uh, reaches a Kerbal Escape. So I'll just accelerate time, so we can see what's going on here. Zoomy, zoomy, zoom, zoom. Right, now, that blue line there, that's our orbit, and if I keep zooming way out, you will see that it's missing the sun by a surprising amount. Alright, we're just going to miss the sun, and um, I'll just crank this up as far as it'll go. But even at this massive time warp, it's going to take a while before we see anything hap happening. But yeah, as you see, we're missing the sun. There's a couple of reasons for it, one of which is in any, you know, 
even as large an object as the sun um is still fairly small compared to like the total distance of the um solar system and two uh the planet we're on is also moving at a pretty good distance so you'd have to actually not be straight up but at something of an angle to counteract it um so it's it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to actually hit the sun um i think that's enough to show my point farewell and i hope this was useful